So when scouting for mealybugs, um, we'll go through a block and, and choose around 20 vines and just, it, just randomly choose 20 vines and look for, for mealybugs and then uh, essentially give a positive or negative as to whether there are mealybugs present. So this dark spot on the vine here, um, this is in Zinfandel, uh, makes me suspect that there's um, vine mealybug underneath the bark here. And what that darkness is, is uh, caused by the honeydew that this, that this insect creates. And essentially that's um, a sugary excrement that they produce from uh, feeding on the phloem of the vine. Um, and the honeydew acts as a food source for ants. And you'll see oftentimes when you're looking for mealybugs, um, you'll see ants, especially Argentine ants, the little, little ants that you see in your house all the time, all over the vine. Um, and the ants are very important for the mealybug because they actually um, protect the mealybugs from predators. So similar to mites, mealybugs are very susceptible to natural predation. There are a lot of things like to eat them. And uh, they're also a host for uh, parasitic wasps. So there are various types of wasps that will lay eggs inside of mealybugs, which when they hatch, the mealybug will die. And that can actually um, be a very good check on a mealybug population. But the ants are very effective at fighting away wasps and other predators that might be trying to eat the mealybugs. So, um, and the honeydew attracts them. So let's see. So this guy here, um, this little pill-shaped critter is, actually I believe this is a grape mealybug, um, which we also, we have both vine mealybug and grape mealybug um, in our vineyards, in these hotter climate vineyards. Um, and this guy, this is an adult. They can produce pretty rapidly. Great mealybug less so. The vine mealybug is what we're more concerned about, um, which has uh, many generations a year. This great mealybug rarely becomes a big problem, um, but also produces a lot of honeydew and leads to a lot of ants. Um, the big issue with mealybugs is when they're in very high numbers, they can get into the fruit. Once it's ripe, they'll move into here and start in feeding in the fruit, causing botrytis. Um, the honeydew can get all over the fruit and the honeydew attracts its own kind of mold called sooty mold, which is very unpleasant. It's just generally a very ugly thing um, and something you definitely don't want coming into the winery. Um, on top of that, uh, mealybugs are effective vectors of um, grape leaf roll virus, which, um, I mean, is a very common virus, but something that you don't want uh, in your young vines. So as we get, as we replant some of the vines that have, that have died out here, um, we don't want any of the leaf roll virus, which almost all these old vines have, getting into the young vines. Um, so we've been really trying to cut down on mealybug populations in order to reduce the potential of leaf roll vectoring into our young vines. So what we have here is our primary strategy to deal with uh, mealybugs in this vineyard. Um, we just installed these this year um, and they're ant traps that, that we built, essentially just a PVC housing with a bottle of, uh, of ant bait that mimics the smell and taste of honeydew. So it attracts ants and uh, it's a really low level toxin that kind of just slowly um, makes its way through the colony and, and, and uh, reduces the amount of ants in the vineyard. And then once the ants are reduced, then the mealybugs don't have their protectors to protect them from all the things that want to eat them. Um, so the goal, once the ants are gone, uh, the goal is to figure out how much mealybug predation is happening, how much um, parasitism is happening. You can see and notice mealybugs that have been parasitized by wasps. So once we figure that out, um, we can make a decision about whether we want to import 
um, more parasites and predators into this vineyard, um, but we don't want to make that that decision until the ants are under control because they truly are um, extremely effective at, at uh, getting rid of those natural predators. So mealybugs are pretty ubiqui ubiquitous. Um, the great mealybugs are kind of always around. The vine mealybugs, which are a much bigger problem, um, are something that have been spreading throughout California. So um, certainly when we're in a vineyard like this, we're really careful to not bring vine mealybugs anywhere else because they are they are a serious problem.